Chris? Hey, Adam, well, it's uh, obviously good to see Greg Biffle doing so well here these last couple of races. Prior to Pocono, it seemed like all the chatter was, what's wrong with the Ford and what is wrong with Roush? Well, Greg Biffle then goes out, rips off a second place at Pocono, the win at Michigan, and he just spoke him before he got in the 16th spot. And, and I asked him, what, what did you guys really figure out? And he said, well, Ford has had the car in the wind tunnel every single day, so they picked up some uh, some gains there, but really it comes down to setup. We finally found a window with this car. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Pocono in Michigan, smooth racetracks. How's that going to work here? He said, it's not working that well. We're not good in the first practice. We're still trying to figure it out. This racetrack is so bumpy. It's like running an off-road race with not enough shock travel. He said he talked to Matt Fuchsia after the first practice, and Matt said, what do you need? He said, I need a cushion out of my RV to hold my head up. Just next to me in the garage, Marty Snyder. Well, Chris, Kyle Busch was sixth fastest in the practice. He's heading out for his second run here in the second practice. I should say sixth fastest in the first practice today. Talk to Dave Rogers this morning. He told me we are in complete R&D mode here this weekend. Brand new car, brand new kind of setup. He said, honestly, we've been beat in the last few weeks. Roush is getting better. Hendrick Motorsports is clearly getting better. So we need to pick up our game. So this is a complete new setup for Kyle Busch and his team. The report from Kyle on that first practice. Very happy with it. I love the balance of the race car. They don't have quite the speed everybody else has, but they have terrific balance. And Wally and Kyle, you know that's going to be a big key Saturday night because this racetrack is going to change quite a bit from start to finish, isn't it?